Shoo! What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, guys, a huge shout out to The Walking Dead No Man's Land for sponsoring today's video. The Walking Dead No Man's Land is a turn-based RPG strategy game based on the hit TV show from AMC. Season 11 of the new TV show just premiered, and with it comes new in-game missions, new weapons, new playable characters, and exciting live events that are directly linked to each new episode. No Man's Land is free to download on iOS and Android. And when you download it, make sure you use promo code FLAIR to get Jesus and full gas for 24 hours. Season 11 new content, which is based on each episode, will be available the day after the episode premieres on TV. The Walking Dead now has The Last Stand game mode, in which players fight endless waves of walkers, see how long they can last, and be rewarded for their efforts. So to download the game, linked down in the description down below, click the link, download it, and remember, use promo code FLAIR to get Jesus and full gas for 24 hours. Huge shout out to The Walking Dead No Man's Land for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shit! What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. I gotta get some Mondas on. It's brighter than hell out here, folks. Welcome back to another video. Special video. We've been working on this, planning this, waiting to reveal this for quite some time now, but we're gonna jump into it. We ain't, I ain't gonna make you wait. Boom! That's my new lake. And it, it's bigger than this. It actually wraps all the way around. We'll take the boat. We got the boat ready. So this is my new lake that we are going to be using this hunting season. Now, before all you keyboard warriors get after it, no, I did not buy it, okay? I didn't go buy another piece of land. Quit buying stuff, lady. Keep buying all these properties. Next thing you know, you're gonna buy the whole state of Nebraska. Okay, just relax, guy. Just calm down. I leased it, okay? But if... If, 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 and only if, we kill a lot of birds here, there's a chance I'll put an offer in to buy it. But for now, it's just a lease. So I'm not, I'm not buying it right now. It's just a lease. So there's a chance, like if we, basically I'm like, well, I'm gonna lease it. And if it's absolutely fire, right? Like we're just limiting out on ducks and there's some deer running around here and whatnot. And if it's just the filet mignon, then I might try to put in an offer to buy it. Um, but for now, let's lease it and let's let's explore it a little bit. So to give you a backstory, this is 100 acres, okay? We got corn and a big ass heron. Look at that sucker, he's getting it. Lots of corn. I think there's 45 acres of corn. You got corn that wraps around, huge pocket of corn here. The lake is 20 acres, um, so you got a 20 acre lake. And so the whole lake itself, at least we think, what we've been told is it's all about the same depth and it's all about three to four feet. And I don't know if it's high or low. We've been getting a lot of rain, so I don't know what, like, if it's high or low right now, I'm not sure. We have some some waders, we have an anchor so we can test it, but we haven't really explored this place. Um, we obviously went and looked at it before we bought the lease, but we hadn't really gone in depth. And so we want to take you guys along, just like the ranch, how I, we, we looked at it, decided we wanted it, we bought it, kind of doing the same thing. We want it, we're going to test it out and, and see. So there's three pit blinds, so this is like, this is made for waterfowl. Like the whole the whole idea behind this property is waterfowl, right? Ducks, geese. There's also gonna be deer. There could be potential for some fishing. Okay, you got a lake here, but I didn't buy it for fishing. I didn't buy it for the fire lake, and I didn't buy it for deer hunting. We've got the ranch for that waterfowl, specific to waterfowl. So we're going to we're not gonna do a lot of management this year. Um, obviously, we got teal season coming up here uh, in a few days. Um, well about a week actually um and so and, and then i don't i don't really expect this place to be that great for teal to be honest i think it's going to be better for big duck season um that's just going to be my guess so we're going to hunt it this year and see you filling up the lake over there what's, what's that shot now you now, now you got it yeah. yeah push it yeah shake it off okay so like i said waterfowl specific we can do a lot of other things um if it's absolutely fire and we're just smoking all the if it flies, it dies, and any bird in the area comes over here and land. Okay, those are blackbirds. I thought I thought I saw some teal for a sec. Are those teal banjo? And three suckers. We might have to go over there and look. That it's like they were flying a little goofy. Like I thought they might have just been like a blackbird. But I'm like those are really big for for blackbirds. They could have been. They could have been ducks. Um, there's lots of lots of doves here too. Lots and lots and lots of doves. We'll do some dove hunting, uh, coming up. So got the boat. Um, and I think there's a boat ramp ish. I think it's a little little on the steep side here, but there. Oh, guile. Yeah, I'm not, I'm thinking it's, uh, well, I mean, luckily we got a little Johnny. I mean, 
we should be able to get little Johnny out there. So we're gonna take the boat out. Like I said, we'll explore the lake and, and the pit blinds. So there's three pit blinds, two have power. Power, folks, okay? So we can sit there and cook, cook stuff up on the, the griddle or you know stream some football games or banjo can, I don't know, do whatever you want with power. There's power in there. So we'll jump in them, see what they have to do. So like, oh, what I'm saying is we're not gonna do a ton of management, but from what I've heard is this place has not been hunted in a long time. These pit blinds were put in in the 60s and 70s, and I'm guessing a whole lot hasn't been done to them since. So another one of them abandoned things. I keep buying abandoned things. Well, I didn't buy this one, but you know, potential to buy it, but I'm leasing it. But like the whole idea is like, this is a, this place has a lot of potential. It might be really good right now, but I'm guessing it's not amazing. It could be better, let's put it that way. Kind of like the ranch, right? The ranch is cool. But with all the improvements we're making, it could be really good. So that's the idea of this. If we do end up buying it sometime down the road next year, then we could do a bunch of improvements, maybe turn that corn into some flooded corn, some marsh and stuff like that. But the pipelines we're gonna go explore, from the photos I saw online, they looked pretty old. Uh, so we might have to do some renovations to them and fix them up and get them ready for for duxies and i heard there's an island out here so we might have to we might have to Survival jump on Island. jump on the island and see what the island's got going on because i saw an island from the the aerial view so and then over there so we've got timber that runs over there's a pretty good sized pocket of timber maybe like 10 15 acres um and i think there's like some old equipment over there and so that would be like if we did end up buying this one day we could build like a cabin or something in the woods over on that side and then there's a levee because there's like the river nearby um and then there's like a strip of corn we'll, we'll show you everything we'll give you a whole tour we got the drone i'm just trying to let you guys know what the strat is this is our new waterfowl lease um, and we're gonna hopefully kill a bunch of birds. So we're gonna back the boat up. We're gonna get it hopefully unloaded into the water. We're gonna test the depths, make sure we can walk it. We brought some waders because we wanna make sure if you can't walk it, I mean, you got loose to get the birds, but I mean, ideally we need to be able to walk across it. But the owner said there's like a, a pipe in here that you could open to drain it. Um, and there's a pipe that has a well attached to it that you could flood it. So like you could, you could change the irrigation. I don't know if we'll do any of that, but this place, like I said, Back in its prime, back in its day, 40 years ago, I think this thing, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, I guess, I think this thing was just like mint. And since then it's just been, it's been neglected. And I feel like we could, we could bring it back to life, folks. That's what I like doing. I like taking properties with mad potential and then we do a bunch of beefcake construction LLC work and make it the filet mignon hunting. So that's kind of the plan. Let's get this boat in the water. Remember what I said about making improvements? Step one, make an actual boat ramp. That was brutal. I think we hit it about as good as we possibly could. But shit, what? This was literally their boat ramp. I'm trying to think like, at what point were they like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 this is fine. It's like, we, we, we again, we're not gonna, since we lease it, I'm not gonna fix the boat ramp, unless they want me to. I mean, I guess I can. I just don't want, I just don't know what they want me to do or not do, whatever. But if we have a boat here, fine. We'll probably just yank it up on shore and tie it up so you don't have to use this ramp every time, so. I think I've got enough beefcake power to push this thing. Oh, we got it, yeah. The floating, boys. Sheesh! Deep enough for it to float, so that's good. Yeesh! We made it. Yeah, it looks like, I think at one point they had concrete. They just decided to break it up and leave it. Welcome to the lake, folks. First thing we gotta do, check that depth. We ain't got one of them fancy fish binders on this rig, so. This is all you need right here, folks. Well, <laughs> we're rocking a solid two and a half ish, which for duck hunting is good. Fish, probably not quite as good. So let's go ahead and, I mean, I don't expect this to be the deep end though. Let's explore some of the lake here. Yeah, that motor, oh, we're in mud. Oh yeah. She's in it right now. Come on, Sheila! Oh, we're cruising now. You have this lake to be fire for? Raising fish like a hatchery. The True. whole thing's four foot? True. You could sane the whole thing. Imagine saning a 20 acre lake. That'd be crazy. You could grow some good, I mean, yeah, so here's another thing, folks. Like, if I if I buy, I'm not saying I'm gonna, but if, 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 talk about improvements, we could come out here with a long reach excavator, assuming that the whole, because the reason why I think the whole thing is the same depth is because they said way back, like in the 40s and 50s, like they took the dirt from here to build one of the river levees, like when they first invented 
levees. I, I don't know if invent is the right word, but when they first started building levees around this joint, that's so like when they scraped it out, they made the whole thing level. So that's why I think the whole thing is about the same depth. It's not a, a natural lake, it wasn't a ravine, and it wasn't built for fishing. Because uh, if it was built for fishing, they would have made it, you know, different levels, big holes. So one idea, if we did end up getting it, and we wanted to turn this property into more than just waterfowl, we wanted to make it fishing, is we could potentially bring a long reach excavator in here. And I don't know if we could get super far, but you know, we could dig some holes and pockets. At least we could throw maybe some catfish in here. Um, that way they've got some holes. I mean, I've, the thing is like catfish can live, I, I've seen catfish live in, you know, lakes like this that are, don't go deeper than four or five foot. And even in the winter, as long as we don't have a crazy, crazy winter and they make it like bass, probably not the strat, but like it'd be cool to have catfish in here. Or, you know, we've, we've talked about maybe if we, maybe there's already crawfish in here, but if not, we could put a ton of crawfish in here. And then this would be like our hatchery for crawfish, big hatchery. To where when we needed crawfish for our other ponds and lakes to feed our fish, we could just come out here and set traps. So like this lake doesn't have to be where you go out and catch a largemouth. I've got a lot of those, right? We're gonna build one at the ranch soon. We've got one at my house. We're gonna have one at my new house. So it's like, I don't really need another fire fishing pond. I mean, I wouldn't mind one, don't get me wrong, but like, I would love this pond to serve a different purpose other than just go and catch a largemouth. And since it's already here, we don't have to build it. Um, we gotta kinda, you, you know, make the best of the situation, I guess what you could call it. So we've made it about, we're about halfway. So we're gonna get out to this point. So I think there's, a, there's supposed to be a blind off of this point over here and there's one across there and then there's one over there, which the other one we have never like seen or been able to really find out here. Oh, there's the island, look at that. Sheesh. We got our own private island. Dude, that's definitely gonna be the hunting honey hole. It's got like, imagine hunting off the island. 360, 360 hunting. All right, so now you can see the lake. So that's my truck, you see the truck, and it actually goes and it wraps around. It's 20 acres, it's a bit, I mean, it's the biggest lake that I've, I have access to, I guess. Um, but there's supposed to be a blind off at this point. So there's a point out here, um, it's covered with brush and stuff. We'll, we'll jump in it, wore some pants, so hopefully I won't get uh, you know, poison ivy again, that would be, that would be good. Um, but we'll check that one out. I don't think there's anything on the island yet. We're definitely gonna put a blind on the island. That's like, that's a guarantee for sure. And then, they said, I think there's one back against that row of corn, and then there's another blind in that like green patch. Um, so we'll explore them, but let's see how, let's see how deep this sucker is. Now we're kind of in the middle of the lake. About waist high, which for duck hunting is probably good. We ain't going over our waders. Somewhere over there, there's supposed to be an outflow where you could like lift up this thing and it'll drain this sucker into one of the creeks. So if it was up to me, if it was up to me, I'd make this sucker about yay high. And that way, you ain't gotta wear chest waders, you could wear hip waders or something like that. Probably to start at this pit blind right here. Land ho. Yeehaw, brother. All right, first blind exploration of the day, folks. Sheesh, you're kind of far from the water over here. You're, you're giving it a hell of a poke. Birds ain't gonna see you, Birds ain't gonna see you though. Look at that. It's an it's an under, oh, Ricky's been on there. It's an underground bunker. So, there, oh, there's your power. So this is one with power. So, you can so late season, icy right? Oh, true. There. So we could have ice, like bubble, basically an icy is like a bubbler. Like water it'll open. keep the water open. So everything else could be frozen around here. And there's a river not far from here either. So the river should stay open. And the birds travel the river, especially once everything freezes. So if the birds are flying and they look over and they're like, oh, that looks like open water right there. Then wham, bam, we get them taken out. And having power right here is nice because we used to run generators and that's no fun. So, all right, how do we open this sucker? How do you work this thing, mister? Uh, there's a lock, but I don't think it's locked in there. Lock? What are, you, what are you trying to keep out? Oh my God, look at that. Oh, it's dry. I'm actually surprised it's dry. They got pumps in there. Oh, look at that. Where's, is there a ladder or does it go down the other side? Is that how you get down? I don't know. Or is that just your seat? You know, what's over here? Oh, really? Well, just start with these seats. Okay, so you're sitting here, okay? Okay. You stand up, your seat goes off. Oh, it's spring-loaded. But wait, can you move this sucker? Wait, what? It's welded. Is this a two-man pit? Why is it so big? Why would it be so big if it's only for two dudes? 
Huh? Am I miss? I'm not a big pit line guy. Am I missing something? Like I would say two thirds of it is covered to where you won't. Now I'm now I'm really confused. Actually, there's, I'm a, there's a pipe for the like the power in the middle. Yeah, you can only hunt two guys in, in a whole pit line. In a, this has got to be a 10, 12 foot pit line at least, probably but twelve. They have like a place for your gun to go right here. You think they're just big hunt in the rain guys? Like is that their like their bunker and then they just like pop out to shoot? This ain't make. I'm gonna here. Let me crawl down here. This ain't making no sense, buddy. It's kind of nice. Dude, it's huge. Dude, this is grass. Why am I sitting so high off of that? <laughs> my feet are, look, my feet are dang on. <laughs> yeah, that would get the birds to scare up real quick. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to moan at them now. You know how ban Banjo always is going, huh? You just stand up now, you don't have to moan. Dude, you can literally crawl, like live up in this sucker. You, you could do a 24 hour challenge in here. So I'm, what I'm trying to figure out though is, I mean, that's a nice pump. I'll give them that. So. They got an, again, I'm impressed. They got a nice pump. The pump automatically goes and shoots the water out. So like, I mean, that's, that ain't from the 60s. That looks new. Maybe they did it, maybe they did it recently. Oh, yeah, there's your, here's your float. Yeah. It's automatic. Dude, that's sick. Okay, I'll give them that. They did, they, they got something figured out there. Which is another reason why to keep power in here. See, if there wasn't power in here, this thing would probably be almost floating with how much water there'd be in here. Because it's sealed from the bottom. Like, you're not supposed to... Water shouldn't be able to come up from the bottom, so you don't want it to leak. So you got power here and here. Yep, you got three, three, here. three power strips. My thing is like, why don't you just put the power in the back, so you wouldn't have to like have that bar there? But I don't know. I just, I'm not sure like what would be the point of having this big of a pit line for two guys. No. This is a huge pit line for two dudes. I mean, I guess worst case, what we could cut, we could always leave a middle strip just to protect your pipe, I guess. Yeah. But like, we just take a, we're gonna have to get some type of torch out here and cut it. Yeah. It sounds like a beefcake project that cut and torch. I've never done that before, that'd be new. But, I mean, we gotta open it up, right? Okay. Like, you can't just be hunting two beefcakes out of this. gotta have a film or somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we got a room for Zach to, I mean, I guess. Do you think you're seeing the water from here? Dude, I, I'm telling you, you're you're far back. Like, you're, I can see, well, I guess you, you're you probably more covered than I am. I can see the water. Okay. I but I mean, like, dude, you're far. Like, you're not close to the water. I guess they maybe did so they could shoot to the other side too, but like, you're losing 20 yards before you even are on the water's edge. So if, if, if the birds land 30 yards outside your decoys, you ain't shooting, you ain't shooting nothing. It's a nice pit, I'll give them that. Quality, you can tell, I mean, this thing's probably been here for quite a while. I don't understand the seat strap. The seat strap doesn't make sense. This metal, like it's literally welded. That doesn't make any sense to me. They literally put in a 12 foot pit for two, two beefcakes just to come in here and, and, and sit. I mean like, I mean technically like if Zach could probably stand yeah. up on this ledge and film like here and then he could jump up. So like you could, but you'd be squeezing. Yeah. What's it's, the point? Without this, you could have easily six guys. Yeah. What's like, what's the significance of this? Like why wouldn't you just cut the weld and just leave it there and then when you hunt, you literally just flip it back. Yeah. Like. It could be there. I don't know. You guys, maybe you, some of you guys are some pit blind experts. I don't really hunt out of pit blinds. I don't have any pit blinds. I mean, I have before, but not, I'm not, I'm not a, like an expert. I haven't been in a whole bunch of them. So maybe I'm, maybe we're thinking of this thing wrong, but I'm like, a weld's a weld at this point. I don't see how you can fix. Yeah, you can't do much. You can't no, it do, yeah, it ain't, it ain't going nowhere. I would have made this a third slide so you could have six beefcakes. But um, anyways, pit blind number one. And I'm not sure what, why that was the most convenient way of getting in and out. And then when you stand up, it makes that sound. But I mean, not bad. I would say like, if, if it's just up to me, I would say this is gonna be our late season strat. Yeah. Cause you got power, you put an ice eater and like, and with the ice eater, you can make sure your hole is basically up against the bank. So then the birds would right be deep. Right for the wind. Yeah, yeah. It, oh yeah, true. And north wind would be coming over our back. Yeah. So like on a, on a cold north wind day, they'd be landing right in your face. I, it's not bad. It's honestly, it's better condition than what I expected considering I was told that th this hadn't been, I mean, they obviously put a new pump in recently. Maybe they were planning on hunting it or maybe they did it for us because they knew we were gonna be hunting it. That all looks new down there, all the pumps and stuff. So I'll give them that. They did, they did get on the pump. So. We're gonna jump in the boat. Let's head over to blind number two. That's the closest one. And then we'll head over to blind number three. I don't know, this one, that one doesn't have power, I don't think. So we'll go check out what that one looks like. Stay tuned. Phew, we made second spot. So first one was that point. Next blind is right over here, folks. Ugh. Definitely closer to the water. This one's closer to the water for I don't sure. Know what's that? Oh, that ain't good. The edge of the blind. Yeah, that's something we got a little wash washing out. We got going on. One of the two. Or do what? Or a badger. Badger be badger be digging. So over here, this one's got a lot of cover on it. Looks it's like just, is it the same? It's the same thing. That. They have it. They have it welded up there. What the hell, buddy? Pull it out. God, there's a lot of weed. 
How's that looking? This one looks a little more run down, yeah. Same strat, I don't see a pump. It looks like they built the floor up and like the bottom of it's got water in it. Mm -hmm. Same seats, same size. There must have just been two, two local beauties that like to hunt out here. And they didn't like anyone and else. And they didn't like company. That's the only thing I can think of. This one doesn't have power though. So this is probably the most, I'm guessing the ones with power are the ones they care the most about, I would assume. Yeah. And so. I feel like this could be a teal spot though. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see why not. I think teal, teal could come and land right in here. Like I said, you're a lot closer to the water. Like this, this one makes a dove. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This one makes more sense. Yeah. Like I like how you're you're kind of higher up. Yeah, and you're high, and you're high. You you could kill teal from here. I think and like I think ducks in general. The other one, the other one I feel like is a honk daddy spot. Like for some reason I get honker vibes out of that guy. This guy, I feel like we can kill some ducks. And now now you can see the lake. So island here somewhere. The other line somewhere over there. We haven't figured out. It might be in that thick stuff or it might be on the next one. But now you can kind of see the lake how it wraps so lots of potential for waterfowl hunting and now you can see the corn so this corn goes all the way to that timber line way back there and that's kind of what we're thinking if we were to end up buying it someday we could turn it into a marsh build an impoundment that doesn't leak um, and then pump the water from this lake over there so we wouldn't have to drill another well because this lake actually has a well that recharges it so we would have to put in some type of pump that would transfer water you know from one to the other and so you could have a lake here and then back there would be flooded millet flooded corn we could have our own pit blind i want to put my goal okay if we end up getting this my goal is to put a pit blind in that has a full-blown kitchen okay inside the pit blind where we can literally shoot a bird clean it and do a catch clean cook all in one building and have satellite tv in there maybe some bunk beds i mean i want to i basically want an underground palace and then you just stand up and shoot a bird and you go back under that's only if this place is absolutely fire because obviously putting in a pit blind like that would not be the cheapest and you only want to do that if the birds are going to be here so anyways blind number two I'm, we're not even going to crawl in there i don't it looks it's the same design yeah. it looks like it's the same design so no power a little more rundown but Definitely could kill teal here. Um, a weed whacker and we could. Yeah, we could we can knock all this. I mean, most of this will probably die, not for teal, but for big yeah, duck, it should be dead by then. Um, but yeah, we just need to do a little cleanup area and uh, we should be good to go. So this is blind number two. We gotta go find blind number three. This this might be tougher because this is one we have no idea where it's at. So stay tuned. Shoo! We made it, folks. Oh yeah. This is teal heaven, buddy. Sheesh. Right there in the corn. Look, we can stand in the corn and then shoot the tealios. We got a nice little bay here. And once the corn's gone, we can actually like get to it, but we can get to it from boat, so it's not a huge deal. Um, or a tank. We could probably use the tank to get in here, but I like this little pocket. This is a nice, and you're kind of sitting at like uh, where any, so your south is, like right now it's one from the south, right? Which is, you know, yeah. I guess south is this way. So like they could land here, but if, even if it pivots, like this, you could almost shoot them at any, any wind direction. Yeah. Um, and even if it's north, you could just sit off that point and they could, they would land like this. You're going to get cross shots, but this could be like a pretty much any direction shot. So we think there's a pit somewhere back, somewhere back in here. And they're like, yeah, 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 there's a pit. So we're going to go find it. And then we are going to go check out that island too. That's the island's going to be dope. That's going to be my favorite spot by far is going to the island. So we got to see, so there should be power. Okay. Supposedly there should be power. So if there's power, there should be one of them like big brown header boxes like we saw in the other one. You're right, it might be on this other side. It's a little lower. You go that way. Okay. I'll walk down the middle until I... I feel like I'm gonna fall, I'm into, gonna fall into the pit. It's like a punji pit. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking for the power box. And I mean, unless there's not a power box, I assume there would be one though. Okay. You're fishy, fishy. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm about to fall to my death here. I figured they would stick it out on this point. They said it was over here. And I was like, where at? And they're like, it's over there. Well, two pits. In a mystery pit. We'll find it one day. But let's go ahead and let's take a boat right over the eye. <laughs> let's take a oh go oh banjo! Woodies! Woodies! Hell yeah! Why aren't they flying? Are they you think they're there's no way they're too young, right? You wanna think they're pretty big. You see them? Dude, they scared me. Dude, they were under they were right there. Maybe they're too young. Do you think they're too young? They're pretty big. What the hell? Since winter bait, I mean, it's literally not wood duck season, obviously. It's not for a few months, but like, or a couple months, but I mean, normally you see Woody's flying with teal at kind of the same time. Dude, maybe they were young because they can't, or they might be injured, I guess, but they were literally sitting up under this grass. Hey, first ducks we've seen, boys. That's a good deal. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to go explore the island and maybe the pit's on the island. Maybe joke's on us. Maybe maybe we'll find a blind out there. You guys stay tuned. Gee, look at the island, buddy. Dude, I'm, this is going to be my favorite spot by far. By far. You know another thing I just thought about, which is like totally like random? 
But if we could, if we could get catfish in here, like let's say they survive. Imagine putting bank lines around the island, 360, yeah. and then you just come and check your lines. You just jump on the island and you just walk around the island. Put a feeder on like each side of the yeah. Island. Oh yeah, and we could put feed. Oh, that's smart. We could put uh, fish feeders, solar powered fish feeders, so they would shoot out, and then we put our bank lines out there, and we could catch fish. That'd be be pretty sweet, honestly. It'd be be a cool little setup. I think we kill some kill some ducks out here. Definitely, I think we kill some ducks. Reminds me of out the here. island we used to hunt. Yeah, true. Back in the day. Oh yeah, we're big island guys. Oh, yeah. And we can do like 24 hour challenges on the it's island. Cool, like teal will just like buzz, buzz you. Buzz it, yeah. And you don't even see them. In the cover, them. like yeah. there's literal trees. Oh. It's not like it's just a mound of dirt. Like there's there's actual trees. I'm gonna try to find like a little more open spot for us to. Oh, how's it going? Oh, we might be we might be beached, buddy. I was gonna try to find a better spot for us to access it. I think on the other side, those is there an entrance over there? Okay, we'll try that. Dude, I like this though. How's the mud? Is it not too bad? Too bad. Really? Cause that's the other thing that sucks is when the mud's like just crazy, crazy soft. Dude, yes. 360, oh, it's shallow. We're stuck. We're stuck good. Let her eat. We ain't moving. Yeah, we ain't moving. Almost. Here, jump to the, jump to the front. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You're doing it, you're doing it, you got it. Look at that one strapping the boat. We're getting it, we're getting it. Oh God, yeah, hey, that's it. That's why you. Got, that's why I love John boats. That's why I don't have nice things. You ain't doing that with a nice boat. Woo! Good news, it's shallow right there. So, it should be good for hunting. We'll see. We can get access to the other side of the island here. Land ho. Yeah! We made it to the island. What would be interesting to see is if is there any sign of life? Do do like raccoons swim out here and have like island parties or how's that work? Oh, don't. Oh, oh no! Oh, buddy. They're that, thankfully like not where it's like. They're, they're not. They're, yeah, they're soft. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, Talk. We got some berries. R really? You want to eat some? I mean, if they're the kind to eat, sure. I don't know. Look at this. Oh, those are berries. Look at that. Make I've some, make some blueberry cobbler. Those look like blueberries, aren't they? Are they hard? No, they're soft. They're soft like really? Blueberry. Damn, I kind of want to eat one, but like this is definitely one of those moments where you would just die. <laughs> yeah, they're those red ones. I don't think you should eat that. Talk about getting poison ivy. God dang, son. I'm like paranoid now. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, hi. Yeah. Oh, hi. 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 Oh, you can easily get hunt three. Oh, dude. Dude, it's flat up here. Yeah. Look. Both sides. Dude, this is the spot. Yeah. An A-frame where you can jump 360. Oh, yeah. This is the spot, dude. Feels like you don't even need an A-frame. No, you, you stand here. No, you literally could just stand here. Oh my gosh, this is the sickest spot. They left this island when they obviously dug out the dug out the lake. You just throw decoys on each side, a couple spinners, and we just sit here and all of a sudden it's like, oh, they're coming right here. <laughs> Lucy goes and runs and gets them. No blind needed. This island's even cooler than I thought because it's it's flat. Yeah. Like you could actually we we could we could if we wanted to we could actually build a blind out here like mm -hmm. if we bought it and wanted to build like a really nice insulated with heaters like you could actually build a nice blind out here <sighs> dude yeah this island's dope this is we're gonna probably the first time we come out hunting we, we might do it out here just to that way we don't limit ourselves and your the other thing is island's in the middle of the lake so it's like if they like that spot they're at least gonna see you if they like that spot they'll see you know it's like if, you're gonna be kind of in the middle if we have the tank drive it up here and just hide it dude we could yeah you could just drive the tank up here that would be the way to do it then you wouldn't have to hide a big boat because hiding a 16 footer might be a little tough it's a little big island's looking dope though folks pretty happy with this i like this even more than i thought i would yeah this is our, this is the deal this is this is what we're going to be doing a lot of hunting this island island hunting challenges so Anyways, that's the lake. We'll go, I'll, dri I'll drive around, I'll show you that corner. There's not a ton, but there's more lake I'll show you over there. Um, and then all that timber, there's a lot of cool stuff going on over there. Um, so we'll put the boat up on the trailer and go drive the truck over there and show you the rest of the new lease. You guys stay tuned. Dude, we made it to the end of the lake. So there's our island. I want to show you that though. That is a 300 gallon a minute recharge. So pump, there's a well over there, flip a switch and it'll fill the lake. And it's, it's you know, 300 gallons a minute is not much. It's gonna take it's gonna take a lot. I mean, to fill this up would take probably a week or two. Um, but it's here. The well's here. It's already done, so I don't have to pay for it. Because um, you know, right now I'm trying to get a well um, put in at my other farm. You know, the little duck impoundment that leaks. 
Um, and you're talking like $30,000 for a well and a pump. It's like the most absurd thing ever. So the fact that that's already here is an extra added bonus. Um, and like I said, there's a drain that drains this into the creek. So I don't know, I don't think the owners have ever tried draining it, um, but since we're stupid and like to experiment with stuff, I would, you know, if we ended up buying it one day, we would, we would try draining it as low as we can. Because if you get it dry, you could plant mill it and, and some other stuff and then, you know, flood it up and just make it. Then you'd have, if you could do that and this would be one big marsh, I wouldn't even mess with the corn and I wouldn't even build an impound and I would just work with what I have here. But you may not be able to draw as low as that. We're not really sure. And then you can see the, the creek runs up and through them trees right there. So you can see, basically it's three, 360 corn um, and then a lake. I mean, it's, it's waterfowl heaven, if you ask me. It's just, will the birds show up is the biggest question. No one really knows. Um, that's the one thing that's different about duck hunting than deer. Deer, if you've got some woods, and, and if you've got deer, you've got deer. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like, you know, once a deer, like a doe, establishes this is her home, and she links up with the buck, has a baby, that baby has a baby, like they don't move. You know, bucks usually move, does usually will stay. And so like, there's a chance you could buy a property with some woods that don't have deer, but like odds are, like even this spot I know has deer, versus waterfowl, this could be the right next to the world's best hunting and like the ducks don't fly that day they don't fly that day so it's like waterfowl is a little trickier especially when you're talking about like investing hundreds of thousands of dollars into a property like we're talking about here if we ended up buying it one day you, you, you better kill some freaking birds you know what i'm saying like it, it, it can't be it can't be not good it's got to be fire and uh and there's there's spots around this area that are fire i just don't know if this one is um, and that's why we're leasing it just to see how good it is. So anyways, there's the lake folks. We are gonna put the boat on the trailer and we are gonna head out to the woods and explore everything else this place has to offer. You've only seen 20 acres of the hundred, so stay tuned. Shoo! All right, well, we're pulling in. Look, see the farmer still has some of this stuff out here and it's not, none of this stuff's ours, but I wanted to show you. Um, so this is the timber. So this is like when we, you know, you could see the big timber lines from the cornfields. That's where this is. I mean, they've got wagon wheels and bulldozers and all sorts of all sorts of random farming equipment they that's got out power here right here yeah there's power oh yeah there's a lot of power around here i do know that so like i said if we bought it i'm not saying we are i know you guys are probably like you're talking a lot about buying this sucker for, for a guy that didn't buy it i know but we're i wouldn't have leased it if i didn't think we were potentially going to buy it but look at that huge that like used to, barn? used to be a big barn probably Maybe a hay barn but there's but there's power over there um ooh, those those look kind of fresh. Those trees that are all they're all broken. Yeah. Looks like th those trees are down. I don't. I guess I've never really been over here. Um, but this is a really. I'm just gonna go park the truck. We'll walk around a little bit and show you. But the reason why I'm just I, I keep talking about it as if we buy it because like, you know, that would be the ultimate goal. Assuming the hunting is fire. Oh God, that's a big owl. Yeah, it was. Sheesh. Assuming the hunting's fire. Yeah, that's not really get us anywhere. So we're just gonna park here. Assuming the hunting's fire, and we get a good deal. We might, we might buy it. Cause like the ranch, you know, the ranch is like super prime for deer. It's like 75% deer hunting. Once we build a lake, um, it'll be about 25% fishing. You know, there's some trapping in there too, but it's like the ranch we bought for deer management. And I have the farm for waterfowl management. The problem is I only own 20 acres of the farm down there. And so that's all I can really like do a lot of. Otherwise it's farming ground. And like, obviously farmers aren't gonna want me going putting pit lines in their middle of their cornfields. It's just not not what they want it to have done, which I totally get it because that's how they make money. So a place like this, if we owned it, we could get rid of the corn for all I care. I mean, not, like keep it for food, but like, you know, for as far as like making money off of it, I don't really care that much about it. You don't make enough off of it to to, to have it and, and not do other things. So, but you can see like, this is, this is sweet. Like this is a solid like 20 acre block, 15 acre block of timber. Like we could, I mean, we could leave that if we want, but we could build a huge cabin or we could build some type of something on wheels. Cause obviously like being this close to the river, you're, you're in the flood zone. Um, granted, we are probably on pretty high ground here. Now that I'm kind of looking, I should ask the owner how much water. Cause like you don't see any marks on these trees like we do at the farm. Mm -mm. So like, Might not have. maybe the water didn't make it. Like you would see them on the poles. You can see how, see how high that is. Yeah. They didn't do that by accident. So like we could build a cabin out here, but we could just bring, you know, haul in some dirt or dig some dirt from over here. You know, Whoa. Ooh, banjo. Here's I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm in fantasy land as if we do buy it. What if we buy it? 
we pick a spot over there and we dig a huge hole for a pond, like a koi pond or a bass pond, and then take the dirt from the pond and build up a foundation and then we build a cabin on it or, or like a lodge of some sort. So yeah. I would have to ask him, because if we can get above the flood zone, then you don't have to pay for flood insurance and that's super expensive. So like, that, it makes me think like, not seeing any water lines on these trees, and if it did flood, it didn't stay for long. That's the other thing. Um, so I don't know, I'd have to ask him, because that's, that's a levee back there and then the river's on the other side. So I have to ask them if this is in flood ground, but you can tell this is high and they didn't do that by accident. So, you know, we could build a cabin there or we could leave this because it looks kind of cool and we could turn it into something, um, build a cabin out here. But again, this would be, and the other thing I didn't mention is this is really close to the ranch, which is another reason why we're interested in it because like, although it's really far from where we're building the new house, so is the ranch, the ranch is also really far. Um, but if in the fall, we're gonna be driving to the ranch almost every day to go deer hunting, we could drive down here and stay the night wake up, shoot some ducks, and then drive to the ranch, eat the ducks, take a fat nap, and then go deer hunting that evening, and then do it all over again. Like that, to me, I'm like, that sounds like the perfect fall to me, is duck hunt in the morning, fat naps and football in the afternoon, and then deer hunt in the evenings. And then you do it all over again. And then when after you killed your deer, you skin it, you hang it, you drive up here, you fall asleep, you wake up, you go shoot more ducks, and life is good. And so this would be where we could do that. This could be, and it's hidden from the ducks. You can build as big of a whatever you want and you're not gonna bother the ducks. And if we turn the cornfield into a marsh, you're right there and your marsh would literally be right there. So there's like corn on the other side of these fallen trees. And if we did buy it and we wanted to make our own marsh, that would be it. So it's like big block of timber, big block of corn, and then the lake swings around. And so that's, it's just like this thing has mad potential for us to buy it and develop it and turn it into like a really, really badass waterfowl hunting paradise just like we're doing to the ranch for deer we're turning the ranch into a badass deer hunting property we need something for a badass waterfowl property where we can build lodges to stay in we can build pit blinds heated pit blinds with tvs all the cool fun stuff that you can take youngsters out on people that don't hunt i mean for me personally i don't even like hunting in a blind i would rather sit my butt against the berm sit back there and shoot birds but when it's cold outside, you take some people that haven't gone hunting before, they don't have a great time. So my goal with properties like this, especially like even at the ranch, right? You've seen me build up these huge tower blinds that are $8,000 and we build four of them and you know, we're gonna have heaters and, what, and it's all great, I love it. But for me, I'm content just sitting in a tent blind because that's all I've hunted in my entire life. But I wanna be able to take people out hunting that either have never hunted, don't get a hunt or youngsters. And so if we've got a place for deer hunting, then they can go shoot and then this would be our waterfowl hunting spot where they could go in a nice heated pit, jump up, shoot, send Lucy, bring the bird back and they could have a good time. That's, that's kind of the goal. It is for us, like I like to hunt comfortable too, but to be honest, I'm down, I'm down just to throw a ghillie suit on and walk in the woods. Like that's kind of the hunting I like to do. Um, but with all of this, with all the family and friends that we have, I also like taking people and giving them the experience of hunting um, like I had growing up. And so having a, like a place to facilitate, you know, like the Guggen squad to come up and hunt or, or whoever, um, that's my goal with, with these properties. So this is a nice little timber patch. Uh, like I said, we, you have to comment down below. Should we buy it? Well, I, I actually I don't answer that until we start killing birds. If we, if, I mean, if, if we come out here and it's like, yeah, you can pretty much guarantee shooting six, to 15 birds a day, you know, on good days you limit out, but on bad days, you know, you're shooting a good six six to 10 birds. To me, if, if we're around here, I think that's not bad. Um, you know, and if it's good, then we gotta make the decision. Do we try to put in an offer and buy it? Um, or do we do we pass and go look for something else? But the fact that it's fairly close to the ranch, um, we've got a place to build cabins and homesteading areas. Like I said, we could have, you could have anything you want. You could have koi ponds out here. Like you could basically turn this into similar to what I have at my house, minus my house. I mean, you could, you've got room for whatever. I mean, you want, you want chickens out here, you could have chickens out here kind of thing. Um, but it would be dedicated to waterfowl, but the deer are also heavily prevalent because of the river. Um, and anyone that knows deer hunting next to rivers, you get some pretty big bucks out on the river. So you could, and then the trees, obviously turkey hunting. So you got turkey hunting, you got duck hunting, you got deer hunting. If we can put fish in the lake, you got fishing, you can build a cabin, you got cabin vlogs. We could make a ton of videos on this property alone. And then you drive 20 minutes down the road and you're at the ranch. And then we got all those videos. And to me, I'm like, man, this just seems like Seems like a good idea. Sounds like I could make a bunch of videos for you guys. So you'll have to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. It's pretty much, I mean, there's there's more to show you, but there's not, 
nothing you guys probably care about. There's a strip of corn over here. There's, there's, I mean, there are places for food plots. Um, right in front of us is like a circle that's like basically inside the timber. There's a circle of corn so we could plant, um, some type of brassicas there or whatever. So like we could do deer management videos, turkey management videos. I mean, if you really wanted to dedicate a spot for pheasants, you probably could. You could probably just not plant corn on, you know, an acre and do some switch grass and stuff like that. Like you could pretty much do everything you can do at the ranch plus waterfowl um, to where it's like, you know, almost a one-stop shop property if the hunting is good. And that's why we're leasing it because we got to figure it out. So let me know what you guys think, but I will say... I have, uh, I did post this video, uh, not this video in particular, but a different video to the Beefcake Club. That's still a thing. If you guys don't know what it is, I post exclusive videos and early access and stuff like that. Um, and what I did was I came out here and I filmed a video kind of showing the property just a little bit, not much. Um, but what I did was I, I wasn't filming that day. I was by myself. Banjo is, where are you at? Are you on vacation? Uh, I think, yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Well, all right. Secretive boy. I was at a Chiefs game. Oh, oh big business guy. Yeah. Big, did you write it off at least? Oh, yeah. You got to write it off. Oh, okay. God. Team that's, Bondi. That's, oh, team, and, and Zach was out of town. Uh, he was getting drunk somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and so I was by myself. And so I was like, well, I don't I don't really want to film a video. Like, there's nothing to really do that's like super fun and interesting. Um, but there's always stuff to do. Like, my life never ends with stuff to do, ever. Um, and so I went around and did chores. I went to here. I showed off this property. I went to the ranch. I mowed. I broke a mower. Um, I went to the farm and spread gravel and spread dirt. And then I went home and planted a food plot all in one day by myself. And I brought the camera along with me and I did a very lengthy, it was an hour long video, completely uncut. I literally did not cut anything. You're, if you watch it, you would hear me say things you've never heard me say, okay, kind of thing. Um, not censored, completely uncensored, uncut. And the response I got from the Beefcake Club members was something I've never seen before. I'm talking hundreds, if not thousands of comments saying this is the, the greatest video of mine they've ever watched ever of the thousands of videos I've ever done. So... With that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that video. When you're watching this video, if you've made it to this point, then you're probably a, an OG viewer. Um, if you've made it to this point, I'm going to take that video and I'm going to post it unlisted on the community tab on my channel. So I'm not going to post it live, so you're not going to see it in your notice, but go to the community tab on my channel whenever, find the video and watch it. And if that's something, if you watch that video and you're like, I love this video, I would like to see more, then I would suggest signing up to the Beefcake Club. Because this is the first time I've made a video like that. Um, and it was super easy to make, to be honest. It took me, I mean, it took me all day, but like to edit, it took me 10 minutes because um, I didn't cut it. There was no edits. There wasn't B-roll. There wasn't music. It was, it was super simple. Um, but the Beefcake Club members absolutely loved it. Like I've never seen the response uh, from them like that. Um, some of you Beefcake, watch, Beefcake Club members are probably watching right now and you can attest to it. Uh, but I just wanted to throw that out there. If you want to check it out, I'll put it on the community tab. If you like it and you want to see more like it, I'm going to try to do like maybe once a week, once every couple weeks. Like it just depends on a day where I'm by myself and I just have some stuff to get done. Um, and it might be super interesting or it might be in my eyes kind of boring, but it's going to be super uncut and uncensored. So if you guys like that stuff, um, you'll have to go check that out. But that's all I've got for the new lake duck hunting waterfowl property. I mean, what do you think the odds are we limit out on teal on day one? Oh, you feeling I'm it or not? Feeling good. I'm like I'm 50 50. Like I, I like to be optimistic, but like big ponds like this, I wouldn't say they scare me because that's kind of like what the farm is, I guess. Like this reminds me of the farm. It's similar. It's like a big long snaking. Yeah. I'm a marsh guy. Like for me, I'm like if I'm in if I'm in you know knee deep water and I'm in some cattails and and there's some you know wild barnyard grass, I feel better about teal. But I mean, we did see some woodies and I saw teal when I came here and filmed the beefcake video. I saw a few, a few teal flying. Um, I think it's still early though. Um, I think, it, Ooh, there's a squirrel bro. Oh God. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what you think. Um, I mean, if it's really good hunting, I mean, I think it's a good idea to buy it, but you mean, you, you guys always have, you know, good feedback on stuff. Like you helped me a lot with the ranch deciding to, to buy that. Um, or not. I think the place has mad potential, mad potential. We just got to kill some birds. So I don't know about teal. For me, I'm my vibe is like big duck season. I think this is going to be the jam. That's my thing. That's my, I hope it's both. Um, but the good news is teal is usually fairly good at the farm. So if even if this place is like mediocre for teal, we at least have the farm. And then the, the hard part about the farm is the farm freezes um, and then we're done hunting. And like sometimes that's happened in mid-November and that's like mid-season. That's early season in my eyes. Um, and it cuts our season short versus here we could have ice eaters and bubblers and keep it open. So like to me, I'm like, this could definitely be a late season honey hole where we come out and shoot 
ducks when we don't have any other places to shoot them. Um, so it's got potential, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, again, it was just kind of a tour video where gearing up for teal season here in, in, in the next week or so. So you're, you should see a hunting video from here um, in the next week or two, hopefully, if we can get some down on the ground. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one and peace. And before I go, I forgot to remind you guys, link down below if you guys want to go check out The Walking Dead, No Man's Land. It is free to download iOS and Android. And remember, use promo code FLAIR. Like I said, link down below, promo code FLAIR. You'll get Jesus and full gas for 24 hours. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace.